To add more fun, let's allow users to interact with your app via touch. In this lecture, I am going to override the onTouch event method to listen for touch events. By the end, you will be able to find what event actually triggered this method and identify whether the tank is actually touched. Open Android Studio. Go to GameView.java. Inside this class, right click, generate, override methods, select onTouch event method that takes a motion event object. Change the return statement to true. Returning true in an onTouch event tells Android system that you already handle the touch event and no further handling is required. Inside onTouch event, define two variables to store the xy coordinates of the touching point. Float touch x equals to event dot get x float touch y equals to event dot get y create a variable to store action int action equals to event dot get action check whether the action is action underscore down if action double equals to motion event dot action underscore down inside if check whether the tank has been touched if touch x greater than or equals to open close parenthesis t width by 2 minus tank width by 2 and touch x less than or equals to open close parenthesis t width by 2 plus tank width by 2 and touch y greater than or equals to open close parenthesis d height minus tank height inside the curly brace write log dot i for tag write within double quotes tank comma and for message write within double quotes is tapped basically we are checking whether touch x is located in between the left edge and right edge of the tank and is on or below the top edge of the tank. If it is true, we can confirm that the tank has been tapped with the log statement. Run the app. Click Android monitor. Double click to make it full screen. Now click on the tank. Super. So, to recap, you have learned how to overwrite on touch event, identify the action, and write code accordingly. Next, we will create a separate class for missiles and create an array list of missile objects. When the tank is tapped, we will dynamically generate missile objects, add to array list, and remove from array list just when it goes out of the screen. We have a lot to cover in next lecture. See you there.